Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. Today, as we begin our time together, I want to praise God that my sister's home from the hospital and doing better each day. Thank you for your continued prayers for Terry and Bill. For my devotion today, I want us to think about this thought. Everything is possible with God. Say that with me. Everything is possible with God. We read in Matthew's, Matthew 19, verse 26, Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. All things are possible. I want to think a little bit about Wesley Church. Why did Wesley Church rebuild after the fire on May 26, 1972? Why did they build the multi-purpose building in 2006 and 7? Why do you believe that we can even be stronger as we reopen following the pandemic? Why do we reach out to our community and are over the top happy to have over 50 children register for Bible school and are just equally excited know that outreach ministries are rebooting even as we speak? The answer to all these questions is really simple. It is that we have a big God. We believe knowing that as we step out in faith, God will open doors and provide a way. Even if that means, now hear me, even if it means individually, we have to step out in faith. God is ready to do great things through the faithful. Always has been and always will. And that's a praise the Lord, my friends. Now, people may doubt our abilities. People can sometimes be, I'll call them naysayers. They tend to think about individual uh, or corporate, you know, the things that we can do on our own. But, you know, my friends, they're focusing on the wrong things and asking the wrong question. The real question is this. Who do we think God is? For me, my God, your God can do anything. Jesus said in Matthew 9, verse 29, according to your faith, let it be done to you. Now, my friends, God is ready. God wants to use you, me, and our local church. He wants to bless us. He wants to do amazing things in our lives and in the life of the church. God wants you and I to transform the world, to be game changers but he's waiting for us to trust him. So my simple message today is this. Stop saying, well, I can't do that. I can't make this marriage work. I can't do what God wants me to do. I can't love those who are different than me. Oh, I can't do what the pastor's asking. Those are all lies. See, my friends, all things, all things are possible with God. Ephesians 3.20 says, Now glory be to God who by his mighty power at work with us, within us, is able to do far more than we would ever dare to ask or even dream of, infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, or hopes. Wow, that's a mouthful. My friends, I pray that each week as we gather together, these weekly devotions, they challenge you, they push you, because I know that in each of us, there's this enormous potential, far beyond what we often can even imagine. God wants to use each of us, and according to our faith, it will happen. You know what the greatest opposition to our faith is? It's not other people. It's not critics. It's not even the devil. It's our own unbelief. We all have a choice. And today we want to choose to, we have to choose to believe God or not. We have to choose whether we're going to trust God or not. You know, there are many things we don't have control over, but today we can choose to have faith in God. Do we want God to do big things in, your, in, in each of our lives? I sure hope so. Then let's start believing and claiming for ourselves that with God, all things are possible. I can't wait to hear how God uses you as you apply this to your life today and every day. Amen. 
some announcements to share with you uh, about Wesley Church and upcoming community events. Our in-person worship service is now outdoors, um, weather permitting. Uh, but next week, because of uh, some, some things going on at church uh, with staffing and that, uh, on July 11th, we will be uh, in the sanctuary. But typically, we're outside behind the multi-purpose room. Bring a chair. And uh, if it's too warm that morning, uh, you always can stay in your car and listen to us uh, on the radio dial at 93.1 on the FM uh, side of things. In case of inclement weather, uh, always our default is to move back up into the sanctuary. Uh, it's not too late uh, to register for Bible school. That's really getting close. July 18th through the 22nd, it'll be in the evening from 6 to 8. And all children th ages 3 through 12 are welcome. You can sign up on our church website, www.wesleyum.org. Although we no longer have our community aid collection bin, uh, you can still support Wesley Outreach through community aid by taking your donations to any store and using our partner number 10368. Again, that's 10368. Now we're going to do something extra special once a quarter, and that's going to be coming up on July 10th, uh, next Saturday. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And we'll be having a community aid collection day at church between 9 and 1 o'clock. Bring your clothes or shoe, shoe, shoes donations, and then they will be delivered to community, community aid for you. Uh, and that is on July 10th. And we're looking uh, for ministry partners to visit Schaffner Detention Center once a month to provide a simple Bible lesson and to just really engage in a conversation with these youth. If that sounds interesting to you, uh, please contact Amy Whitworth to learn more about uh, this important ministry. Well, my friends, it's been a joy, as always, to share a challenging word with you, to just connect once again. And let's close this time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, patient God, help us today to reaffirm that with your help, we can do all things far greater than we could even imagine. Help us move beyond any naysayers or doubts and to step out in faith. Help us to live boldly today, knowing that everything is possible with God. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.